Hey guys, do you have a home boiler style heating system that has these types of pumps? And uh, ever wonder what was inside one of these pumps? Well, today we're going to find out. I just had my entire um, heating system replaced because my boiler had a crack in the uh, heat exchanger. Uh, and there were so many other parts that were old and in need of repair or completely failed in the system. I had pretty much the whole system just ripped out and everything put in brand new, including all the pumps and everything. Um, these, are, these are pretty interesting setups. Um, these Grunfoss pumps in particular have a cartridge where when the innards stop working, like bearings and stuff go out, you can just take the whole motor apart from this part with those four bolts that you see holding it in place and uh, just replace the inner parts, the inner workings, which is called a cartridge. Um, I've actually got a larger pump right here. I did that once already. So let's take a look inside these. I'll show you a little bit about them and uh, what we believe went wrong on the boiler system that I've got. And there's evidence of it in the little pump that I was showing you here. Let's take a look. Alrighty, if you take a good look at this system, water is designed to go in one side. This uh, section right here has an impeller. Actually, in this side, it has a direction of uh, flow on it. Water comes in this side, has an impeller inside this section here that spins and then shoots water out to this side. Now this says with check valve also, so that just means on this end, there's a thing so that when you take this side off, the valve closes uh, so that water doesn't go through. Um, at least that's what it's supposed to mean. Anywho, on our boiler, I have three zones, first floor, second floor, and basement. And the basement pipes go underneath the floor. And what we believe happened is some of the pipes under the floor in the basement, somewhere in there, there's a pipe that got a hole in it and started sucking in dirt and gravel into the system. And if I take a good look inside this, see if I can get you at just the right angle here. Don't know that I can. Yeah, hang on. Let's zoom in a little bit more for you. All right, see right there? There we go. That looks like gravel and stuff stuck right down inside this system. And it's it's really kind of brown and rusty, which isn't completely unusual. Anytime you've got pipes uh, that have a little bit of um, iron and stuff in them to get that rusting anyways. But that is not supposed to be there. That's definitely different. So we're going to take this thing apart and see what's actually inside this and if there was any damage or anything that occurred. We'll take both pumps apart just to see what's inside them. So let me get the tools to get started. Um, all we've got to do is remove, there's four of these little bolts here with um, hex fittings. So let me go get a wrench for that and uh, we'll take it off. Alright, let's see if I can do this and let you guys see what's going on. I got kind of a goofy setup here, sorry. see they're not in there real tight just you know it's got a rubber gasket in there to create a seal so it just needs to make that seal this one's a little tighter there we go it's just 
Hard to get out one more. Set those bolts aside. Moment of truth here. Uh, grab a hammer to tap on this here. Break it loose here and already look at the dirt and stuff that's fallen out there. Holy cow. Oh, you know what? Hang on a second. There's, I believe there's something on the back end of this. Let's take this label off the back there. It just clips in here or it just snaps in with these pieces here but it's just hard to pop loose and there isn't anything in there holding it in place it's just it's just a pain to get out so what we're gonna have to do is something like this go and you can see it starting to separate now can you yeah there you go so we just there we go just got to be careful with that now if you look inside here this is the, the windings of the motor there is a gasket down there that helps seal that in these are the permanent windings of the motor Let's put that back down in there. If that looks good. And here is the cartridge that would typically come out of here. So the fact that it's, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Wiggling out that, this whole thing can be replaced. Holy cow. And there's dirt and rocks and stuff's coming out of it. So there was rocks that were rattling around in there probably. It feels really good, but that's what's in there. That is the little impeller right there. It like sucks water in and then spits it out. That tiny little thing is all that's needed to get water moving through all the pipes in your house all the rocks and stuff. I'm going to have to clean this up with some iron out, but that's what's in that pump. Oh, look at that. I don't know what that is right there even. That's, I'm not, I don't even know what that is. What is that? It's not supposed to be there. Wow. Something got sucked up inside here that wasn't supposed to. Check that out. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up, and this pump, once it's cleaned up, it's in, this spins great. There's no end play. You can pull this in and out like that. There's no end play on it, and that's where a lot of wear would happen. It feels great, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back together, and it's a good pump after it's cleaned up. And then we'll get to the other one and see what it looks like inside. Alrighty, well we got our little one soaking down here in CLR, uh, which seems to be doing a pretty decent job actually. 
let's get this one apart. I've got uh, the bolts already, re already removed. That one came apart a lot easier. Ew, that water in there is nasty looking. That's what she looks like on the inside. And this one is just a bigger area with a bigger impeller. And this does look like there's a little bit of end play in that. I don't remember if it was like that initially or not. Got a little rubber gasket there. Yeah, that's nasty. This one may have some wear. I think these have graphite bearings. Seems like it turns nicely. Kind of a little stiff, but that in play there. I don't think it's supposed to have that in play. I think that'll cause it to rattle. So I would say this cartridge, if it were up to me, I would not use it. Let's see if we can get it out. I think... I don't think that has to come out. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It's starting to separate. see what happens. We're gonna yeah, I think it'll go all the way through. This is just a hard one to separate out. And I don't recommend doing this at all. Anything in there? Oh, let's try this. And again, I don't recommend this. It should come apart a little bit easier than this. We just want to see what's in here. Need a wedge. Starting to sweat. Alright, let me work on getting this out and I'll come back to you folks. Alright, we got her apart here. This does stay in there and by trying to pull it out I kind of screwed up the threads there. Which I don't care, like I said, I'm not going to be reusing that. Um, this part actually is still usable. This is just fine. There's nothing wrong with this. But, um... I don't think I'm going to be reselling it because I was hitting it over here. So I'm just going to pitch this. Um, what happened though, there's a lot of black stuff coming out of here. Oops. Hang on. There's my clock. It is noon. I should be eating right now. But this had a hydro separator on it where the small pump that's down there in the sink right now was on the boiler side. And the small pump circulated water through, like say this was a tank, your boiler is sitting over here. The small pump just pumped water into this little tank, it's called a hydro separator, right here. The big pump, this one, was over on this side and this went out to the pipes through the house and circulated through here and it shared this water. So as the boiler would pump water into this, the house 
um, pump, this big one uh, going out to the supply to the house side would pull water out of this and it would circulate water through here as well. And they would kind of share that water, intermingle. Um, this is like a little mini tank. It helps with efficiencies and um, shock prevented when pumps come on and off and all, uh, valves open and close and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's a really good setup. Uh, my new boiler, we actually reused that on there. This, since it was on the side of the house where the um, pipes would have gone through the basement floor, this, I think, this pump would have taken the majority of the beading for any kind of dirt and stuff that came in. And it shows, look at the water down there that's coming out of this. It's black. I think it just wore this out. These have got ceramic bearings in there, and I think that's, or ceramic or graphite, and I think that's like a ceramic or graphite slurry right there coming out of this. It was still working. That shows you how durable these pumps are. But still, I mean, if I turn it just right, I could hear just now. I could hear a little piece of a uh, grain of dirt or something in there. And I heard that occasionally when I was running the pump. Like, did you hear it? Little scratchy sound here and there. And I could hear that occasionally when it was running. So that explains what that noise was and why this is in such bad shape. So. That'll definitely cause trouble, so that's that's anyway, that's what's in the pump. If you have one of these that fail though, and you can get it out easily like the one down there, you can just buy a cartridge. This cartridge is a third of the price of the entire pump. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys what was inside these things and how they work. And uh hope you found it at least somewhat interesting. I'm going to go throw this thing away because it is, it's nasty. <laughs> See you guys later. Apparently we are not done yet. What I discovered is this will actually come out from inside of here too. And you can see inside there. I mean, if I pull my finger through there, look at all that. And that... See, that's, that's, that's one of the little bearings right there. Actually, no, that's a rubber one. I wonder if that was deteriorating there. I think right under there was a bearing or something, but wow, look at that definitely something. I think it was just rubbing this thing to pieces. Just destroying all of this up in here. Wow. Yeah, there's a little there's the little bearing thing right there. And see, I can wiggle it. That thing was just being destroyed. Wow. That's a lot of play. Okay, I thought you'd find that interesting. I'm going to clean up because this is a mess.